Does this picture look familiar to you? Well, if you've come here to know more about the lactic acid bacterial serum, then you're watching the right video. I'm your farm boy, Jepoy, and let's learn together. <coughs> Since the ancient times, lactic acid bacteria is mainly used for the production of cheese, yogurt, and other beverages like wine. But for this video, we'll focus on the use of the lactic acid bacteria for pig's health, mainly for better digestion. Using a microscope, this is what we're going to see. But with a closer look, or if you zoom it over, you'll see tiny rods, and that's the bacteria itself. But of course, with the naked eye, we only see this. I had the training from the 29th of May up until the next day, the 30th in 2013, at the ITCPH in Lipa City. We've learned how labs work in the pig farm and how actually effective it is when it comes to hog raising. Whether it be for growing pigs or for breeding ones. So how do we make labs at home? First, we need to prepare the necessary tools, equipment, and materials. These are tissue and alcohol, a couple of strainers, a marker and a tape for record keeping, a beaker for measuring the solution, and different types of containers and a scissor. Next, we have to ensure that all the materials that we're going to use will be fully disinfected using alcohol so that we can avoid contamination. After sanitizing the materials needed, all we need to do is to simply collect the rice wash and separate it from the rice or from the washed rice. Then, using a cloth or a clean piece of paper, cover the container that contains the rice wash and make sure that it's tightly covered with a rubber band. Just leave it covered for 5-7 to seven days so that it would attract the bacteria into it. Um, imagine they would be seeping into the paper or the cloth covering the container. And that's pretty much it. Now this picture shows two types of containers showing good and bad bacteria. On the left, you can see it's all clear, while on the right, you can see some molds floating on top of the solution. While others say that you need to dispose the solution with bad bacteria, I think it still is good because it still has a lot of good bacteria in it. You'll just have to strain or remove the molds floating on top of it and it can still be used to culture labs. Strain the fermented solution and pour in 9 parts of milk for every 1 part of rice wash solution. Just like earlier, we need to wait for 5 to 7 days so that we can culture the bacteria and they can exponentially multiply. After a few days of fermentation, this is how it's going to look like at the side and on top. As you can notice, the curd has formed on top and at the bottom of the solution within the container so we need to strain them and get only the lactic acid. After extraction, we just need to add molasses. Alternatively, we can also use brown sugar so that we can prolong the life of the lactic acid bacterial serum. This could be good for at least six months, depending on as to how much sugar or molasses you get to add on it. And it's ready to use for fermented food or feeds for our pigs, 
It can also be used for wet feeding or it can be mixed with um, the water supply of our swine. On the second day of the training, we had a farm tour and this is how it went. It was a very small and simple backyard farm with some growers in it. And surprisingly, these pigs were already bathing on their own boobs, as you can see in the picture. According to the farmer, it has been more than a month since the pigs were washed. And so they look untidy, if you come to think of it. But honestly, if you visited it, and if you experienced it just like the way I did, you wouldn't smell anything at all. And that's the power of labs. It eliminates the bad odor in pig farming. Specifically, it kills the ammonium content of the pig poops. In other words, lactic acid bacteria is not only good for better digestion of livestock, specifically pigs, but also good for sanitation and waste management program whether it be for a small scale or large scale pig farming or farming of any other livestock lactic acid bacterium or bacteria would be good for their health and sanitation if you wanted to take advantage of the same free training that i had before you can contact or visit the site of the international training center on big husbandry they're located in the city and they offer the training totally free. I hope you like it and I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. Until next time.